Hi everyone, welcome to Mathematically Inclined. Let's discuss another exciting shortcut on definite integration. But before we begin, a disclaimer. You are going to fall in love with this trick. And if you do, make sure to like, share and subscribe to the channel. And now, let the magic begin. Can you even think that you can solve these in 3 seconds? Trust me, at times it doesn't even take that much. The first one gives us a 0. The second one would give us this. Third would be a 0 again. And the last one That's it. No, I haven't mocked up the answers. Trust me, it is this simple. Want to know the secret? Let me reveal the secret formula to you. So now, if you ever come across this format, where you have the limits going from 0 to pi, and then it is sine of ax into cos of a different number bx. If this is the case, then the first thing you would do is Calculate your a minus b. Yes. And once you've done that, if it turns out to be an even number, then the value of this integral would be simply a zero. Yes, it is this simple. And in case it turns out to be odd. Now, when I say even or odd, I am not concerned about the plus or minus sign. I hope you understand. So, if I take odd, i is equal to twice of a, where a is this number which is attached to sine upon a square minus b square. That's all. Now let's see how we applied all this to these questions. So if you were given 0 to pi and we had sine 4x into cos 10x, you know 4 minus 10 gives us minus 6, which is an even number. Thus the answer was simply 0. Yes. Moving on to the second one, as you know, 60 minus 41, we don't have to get the exact number, but we understand 60 minus 41 would give us an odd number. So, the answer should be 2 into 60 upon a square, that is 60 square minus b square 41, which would give us 1681. And once you calculate, you end up getting 120 upon 1990. Wasn't that easy? Similarly, moving to the third one, you can see 105 minus 349. You don't have to get into the exact thing, but you definitely know that this is going to give us an even number. Even? So the answer is straight away a zero. Moving to the fourth one, it is sine of 100x into cos of 15x. 100 minus 15 is again going to be odd. So, all you did was 2 into 100 upon 100 square that gives us 10,000 minus 15 square that gives us 225. So 200 upon 9,775, of course you can simplify and match the answer. You do not believe me that this formula could be so simple? Just integrate it yourself, apply the condition and you would get the required result. So, if you've understood, it's time for the do-it-yourself question. Quickly get to the answers. You know the top three answers get named in my subsequent videos. A small hint, be very cautious when you look at the form which is given in the question. Also, don't forget to check out the various playlists on my channel for full concept and shortcut videos. Okay, so if you have fallen in love with this trick, then make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Share it with all your friends, juniors, family. And if you haven't done that so far, make sure to subscribe to my channel for many more math videos. See you with a new exciting video very soon. Until then, bye-bye.